left side here on Dragonshire as the blue team. It is once again in the semi-finals for great honor. And they have Nepsa on the Illidan, Forever QT on Tychus, Antihero is playing Kerrigan, and in the top lane we have Individuum on Brightwing and Merchant Lol on Tyrael. And on the right hand side in the red trunks it is Whiskey Coca. In the top lane on the Chen we have Whiskey, in the mid lane we have Shaz who I was playing with earlier, very good player. In the bot lane, he's on the Tastar, in the bot lane we have Faustad being played by Exploding, amazing name. And we have the Ufa being played by Revi, and Nasty is on the Sergeant Hammer. Oh, this is gonna be nice here. Uh, Nasty should be able to take this uh, Moon Shrine here, no problems whatsoever Shaz later on. needs to uh, be very, very careful <laughs> when he steps oh, out of here. But there comes the Oracle, oh, so great. he knows what's up. And that's why you want to have the Tassadar in the mid lane, just to give you a little bit more vision and um, allow for easier capturing of the Dragon Knight later on. Yep, and this is Nasty beginning to do what Sergeant Hammer does. Sieged up in this bush, mines completely filling this bush, and he's just going to keep putting mines there, so that when someone gets on him, they're going to get burst a lot. They, he wants to get rid of them so much so that he has time to escape. He can knock them back with his W and get out of there as quick as possible. So, gonna see jump. Not erasing the tower. Just gonna clear the way for now and do some damage to Individium. And it's nice what they have here. They have three people in the bot lane, all to protect the Sergeant Hammer. Sergeant Hammer is just gonna get that lane pushed, and they're focusing on this bottom lane due to the mercenaries. There's going to be three sets of mercenaries in the spot lane. There's two potential for two easy camps and now an unofficial patch note, one yeah. hard camp in that bottom lane. Bruiser camp in the bot lane, that's really surprising. This is gonna change Dragonshire quite a bit, I think. Um, and I do like what you just said. I mean, um, having three heroes down here just pushing. Uh, I'm going to interrupt or... you very quickly. Whiskey oh. in the top lane is being engaged upon by Tyrael and Illidan. Oh. His shield is not enough and he does get taken down. You were saying. Nice body block here by Nepsa, and this will allow him to grab the Sunshine in the top lane. So it's gonna be up to our um, Whiskey Coca team to just hold the bot shrine, which I think they will do, um, as long I as it's just individual. There's a chance of them losing it at this point. Brightwing yeah. cannot fight three people. You'd have to see the roam from the roaming squad of a... Uh, of uh, Oh my god, why do I keep forgetting their name? It is for great honor. Uh, but they're too busy currently taking the heart. Yeah, going for the heart tramp, they will need the help out of Forever QT. Because um, it's two assassins taking the hard camp here, but Actually, I mean, there's, these two assassins are probably the best for it because yeah. he heals and uh, Kerrigan gets a shield from auto. It's very good for sustain. Sergeant Hammer, though, in the bot lane, doing exactly what Sergeant Hammer does, has already taken down that first tower. Yeah, he's now bullying Invidium. Um, Invidium, I like Ooh. what uh, Invidium's doing here. Just baiting out some of the mines so that she can pick them off. She's activating them, making them follow her, and then just kiting them back to the towers so she can kill them off. So that if someone does have to dive that bush, she can pick them off a bit easier. But she really needs to watch out. I mean, she really needs to keep an eye out for Uther. Know where he's at, otherwise oh, she runs come. into a stun. Oh, wow! What a nice move. Nepsa body blocking Uther. And so running much into damage. Bites. Uther's being dropped very low. More bites. Uther will go down thanks to a Venom. And a really, really nice engage there by 4 Great Honor. But we're seeing uh, we're, we're seeing Whiskey Coca still holding this bottom shrine. There's just too much damage potential here. Tastar roamed down from the top, from the mid lane, and they're able to keep control. Yeah, the problem was Nepsa was actually taking a lot of damage in that fight, so he had to back off. They didn't really want to overextend. Um, with Hammer there, I think uh, it's going to be enough to just hold the shrine. Um, at least as long as it's only anti-hero. If Illidan does make a move back down here, uh, they could be taking it, especially now that the mines oh um, are just a little bit fewer in number. Yeah, there are mercenaries everywhere right now. Anti-hero looking for his opportunity, and I like what Nasty's doing, sieging up, using his bonus damage to minions, mercenaries, and buildings to kill off those siege giants that were snuck there by for great honor but now we're going to see them move in but it's too late the dragon was taken there by for great honor and they're just gonna move into this mid lane already taking down a tower and one wall and they're moving on to the second tower yeah forever qt did a really good job just uh squishing up those uh, those walls so now they have an easier time just to um push down uh push down on the fort but we will see a rotation here out of nepsa oh nasty there's the polymorph and fine. he runs down no, no. Still in wow range. How did he actually get that kick? I mean, she was behind the wall. Uh, it's a very big hitbox. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that. 
But now Nepsi going to take a lot of damage. Does get a tower. Nasty is, I'm pretty sure, out of range there. He's going to start wailing on this Dragon Knight. The Dragon Knight can go nowhere here without being in range. And it does get killed off before taking down a second tower. But it is Nepsi. He is able to dash out and keep himself alive. Yeah, so he does. But they're almost level 10. They could be going for a force on, on the next team fight. I think they have to. They have to try and push something and force a team fight so that they can get as much damage done as possible. They are now level 10. Ultimates have been taken. Maelstrom, Judgment, Blink Heal, Metamorphosis. And Tychus has not yet taken his ult, but if he doesn't take Odin, I will eat this water bottle. He does, in yeah, fact, take he does. Odin. He does, he does. But they're not going uh, for a steal on the bruisers. I, I would have suspected the steal on the bruisers, just to force that, that team fight. That would have been fight. a bit too forward, I think. Yeah. I like what they're doing here and just pushing instead, trying to force people to come defend. Nvidium had to back up again. We see Sergeant Hammer and exploding in the bottom lane, taking that bruiser camp for themselves. So they're now going to have even more of a push in this bottom lane. And uh, Shrine should be coming up in not Ooh, too long. There is that steal on the bruises we talked about. It's gonna happen here. Anti-hero, Merchant Lord, and Naps are moving in. So that's a lot of damage output. And not a lot of players for Whiskey Coco that could be coming in to uh, stop, this, stop this capture. And now with the Knights, I think they're gonna push down on the top forward. Yep, the people who could have come in were Whiskey or Shaz. And neither, sorry, Shaz. And neither of them could have really got in defended against all three of these players. And down goes the fort in the bot lane for Red Team. Red Team just going to split push this and do as much damage as possible. Sergeant Hammer taking the napalm and has increased damage to units that are to a long range units. So basically, the further away they are, Sergeant Hammer's going to be doing a little extra damage while you are away from her. So she's just bursting people down from siege range here. Doing so much damage. We've seen a four for a four Ooh, trade. Shaz taking a lot of damage in the top lane. Whiskey should be able to get out of there with the Sorok. I'm not so sure. Oh, he's happy. Oh, there we go. And does get away, of course. Yep, the bot lane, though. They've pushed all the way to keep, but now the Odin is here. Odin was instantly popped, exploding, dashing away. The, and the Odin being slowed by the mines of Sergeant Hammer here. The Odin escapes thanks to... Sorry, uh, Fasad escapes thanks to the fly. Revy is now the one backing out, but here comes Nebse, an anti-hero, trying to pick this off. Nasty Ooh, is being nice is backing out here. It's going on to anti-hero, trying to burst it down. Does get it. Nasty gets polymorphed. In comes the Illidan. Nasty being dropped very low and is able to escape. Really good job thanks to that first aid. NVIDIA also able to blink out there. And that was a one-for-one -one trade, Ufa, for the Kerrigan. Yeah, I feel like if the Odin would have focused on Felset, they could have taken him out. But I think he was out of range and he just uh, popped his uh, long-range attack. So, uh, wasn't going to happen. But let's see, Merchant Lord is going to move in to the top, take the Shrine. Bot Shrine is still in control here uh, for For Good Honor. Shaz moving into the mid lane. He has taken the 33% range increase on his Psy Storm here, so he's oh, just going to it as much as possible. Individuum was picked off here in the bot lane, uh, exploding coming in from the left side. And this is going to give control of the bot shrine to Whiskey Coca, and they're going to hang on tight here now that the Sea Giants are coming in from their side as well. Uh, this is going to be a pretty strong push incoming, and I think that uh, Great Honor needs to defend this. But it looks like they want to they force to. another They're team fight. currently being distracted. And down goes Chen in this bot lane again. Really having trouble here. Not as strong as some of the Chens we've seen, early, seen earlier in this tournament. Yeah. So we thought about um, seeing another team fight. But now that Chen is down, I think they're going to wait a little bit longer. And just try to keep the control on the bot shrine. Oh, Ufa. He's sprinting in, trying to get it, but isn't able to catch up. And yeah, now, now the time has passed. He wanted to get that. Uh, we are yeah, he wanted to get that hurricane off, uh, that uh, divine storm off. Now be a good time. Ooh, it's short Only off. gets one. But Kerrigan goes down anyway. Nasty popping first aid as well. Gonna keep himself alive for every QT. Gonna be popped out of Odin very, very quickly here. But Nasty is very low in the back here. And, in, and Nemse does come in, trying to go onto him. Also, in comes Tyrael. That was a bad place to fly, Falstad. Oh. Falstad gets shield, gets healed. In comes Shed as well. He is back. Exploding's getting body blocked by his own team here. He does get picked off. Invidium now chasing on to Chen, and Nemse is going to try and body block him with his Illidan dashes. And they almost pick him off. That ult is so annoying. And they now, need to turn this around now. Merchant Law is trapped in there. He's in sandwiched. Is this going to be enough damage output, though? He doesn't have the mana for his Q. He doesn't have it. He's so close. Oh, nice wow. save here by Individuum and Nepsa. They body blocked the opposing team. Oh, and this is going to be enough. Merchant Law does get away. What a crazy fight here. But in the end, I think just a tiny bit better for Great Honor. Very and much better for Great Honor because they yeah. were able to sneak a Dragon Knight. <laughs>
Oh, wow! Good job, and this will allow them to uh, take out two forts at the same time. Neps and Individuum just wailing away here at the fort in the bot lane, and um, yeah, Whiskey Coca don't have the time to react. They're just moving down now. Uh, I don't think that's gonna be... Oh, no, it's gonna be close, but Neps just stays on there. Let's check out the timers. Oh, Whiskey Coco still hasn't cooldown uh, for their heroics. Most of their ults are still on cooldown. 20 seconds on Tassadar, for example. 40 on Chen, so he's not going to have an escape if he does get caught out here by Kerrigan or from uh, or from Tyrael. However, Forever QT is struggling to find an opportunity to get in here. They really need to focus on that hammer, and that's what he's going to do. going to punt it. He doesn't really send it far away, but it does do a lot of damage. But Nemse gets engaged upon, gets stunned, and he will get first down. No, he doesn't. Here comes Metamorphosis. Judgment also coming in. Take down Ufa. Chen also getting burst down. He does not have his ult. Nemse going in onto him. Shield is not enough. And he does go down. Nemse gets picked off by Ufa, though. Down goes Sergeant Hammer. Shaz is alive. In Venom is popped on him. He needs to shield himself if he has any chance for surviving. He goes down to one for Odin missile. Four. And somehow Faustad got away from that. Just skimming the Odin Q. He is able to escape and survive. But they're definitely going to lose a keep for this. Yeah, this this was a really strong fight for Great Honor. Um, they're gonna take out one keep at least, and maybe they might have enough time to just uh, go for a steal on the knights as well. But I'm not too sure. I think they're gonna go for the bottom knights here, uh, the new ones, the new bruises in the middle. Yep, exactly. Yep, they're gonna be taking them down. Oh, oh, he's back. <laughs> all right, someone has that game. It's all good. So <laughs> they're gonna be taking this down very quickly just to make sure they can get some more fresh one they do not get the keep like you said due to some respawn times and now we're going to see whiskey coca going for their own bruiser camp yeah this does give them a little bit of time to go for their bruises uh, a steal would have been disastrous right there but they did defend the giants in the bot lane so their keep is still up even though um the gates are down so a run by will very much be, be a possibility um in the next few minutes it is, in fact, very, very possible. Those knights, bruises, in fact, have been cleared up in the bot lane. There are still some giants which will push a little bit further, but they will get cleared up very quickly. And top lane, not too much of a threat. It's going to be bruises versus bruises, and that means that lane will sort of de-push itself. But now, we are seeing for great honor, beginning to group up and look for their opportunity to engage. Yeah, they really want to get in there. But not really finding the angle yet, so it's gonna be a little bit of a dance here uh, around this mid lane. And Revy and Shaz are uh, waiting down there. Oh, careful. Shaz shows himself. Shows he's there, and they're going in there just to deny this. Whiskey getting ready to try and look for a moment. Nasty is very much focusing on anti hero here. Has been bullying her pretty much the entire game. Whiskey's just sitting in here, shielding himself keep this alive but they need to be careful they do not have a vision over this wall for the engagement that happens now they do thanks to that far sight but this fight is gonna be very dangerous yeah i don't feel like uh whiskey coca should be going for this fight but they're buying themselves a little bit of time just to have their uh bruises in the top lane do a little bit of damage and well whiskey caught out of position there Whiskey has been going on to Antihero, though he is still has very uh, a lot of health. He's popping his ult. He has a lot of health when he comes out of that. Down goes Tassadar, though. Nasty being dropped very low as well. He does go down. And Oof and uh, Chen actually being dropped very low inside his ult. Revy is shielded and trying to escape here. Explo he's trying to shield, exploding, but exploding does get dropped very low. Is able to dash over the wall. Revy is now very low. Chen gets popped as he comes out of his ult. Revy is being chased down by Illidan and Brightwing. Oh, I think Neps is going to get him. Yes. Yes, he will. And once again, Falstaff with a tiny amount of health is the last one alive, exploding and doing a significant lack of said name in this game. Yeah, this is going to be enough for Great Honor to just uh, go for that Dragon Knight. Uh, we have Tychus taking the top shrine now, and Nepsa already in position here. So this, this, yeah, this is definitely enough time. But they will have to react to the bruises in the top lane. Oh, they're all gone now. Never yes, mind. They all died. It's fine. And that is another Dragon Knight for for Great Honor. That is annoying having to say that word twice in a row. Yeah, that's why I just say for Great Honor. <laughs> So that, remember that implies their team name is just Great Honor, which is yeah, also an amazing team name, to be fair. <laughs> it works, <laughs> and now uh, the walls are dying here in the mid lane. Nasty trying to stop this uh, with her napalm. It does do a lot of damage, and I would like to point out, current kill count is 16 to 5. 
this is not looking too good for uh, for whiskey coca. Yeah, that's almost a three level advantage. Not quite, but still, uh, with I think they're gonna get a keep here pretty soon. But they want to play this incredibly safe, just taking out all the walls before, uh, which I'm not too keen about. I mean, I actually like that because. It's not forts don't have all the uh, experience in them anymore. Ah, that's right, that's right. Towers also ah. give experience in video. But it's safe it, XP. It's face. safe XP if you think about it. And now they're level twenty, so let's check out their storm powers. We have the big red button on Tychus, Bolt of the Storm on Kerrigan, Resurgence on Tyrael, Storm Shield on Brightwing, and Illidan took his demonic form. Yeah, demonic form very much favored amongst a lot of Illidans. And uh they do have uh, a clairvoyance on them, and they don't care. They're just going to take this easy captain directly from under Whiskey Coca's nose. Whiskey Coca not even going to bother trying to contest it. Yeah, I mean, they have a defensive stance. Anti-hero is in the bushes down there, so... They're um, not taking it. What? They're, they're trying to bait oh, okay. in, but no, not at uh, all. Okay. Not going to happen. Nepsa, uh, just waiting a little bit longer. And now, here comes the push on the bot lane. Everyone is moving in. Individuum coming down there as well. But Everyone Whiskey Coco stands to defend. Keep. They want to make their final stand here. They want the keep, but they know they can't get it. They don't. For some reason, they don't want to fight five v five, despite having those storm powers, which would be so useful here. There's level twenty talents. Instead, they're moving up. They're going to take the hard camp on the enemy side and just get that top lane pushing as well. They're keeping the pressure on everywhere. There's still one set of giants pushing in that bot lane. There's about to be knights pushing in the top lane, and it looks like this is where uh, no nope, four great honor once again decided. <laughs> We don't want to push at all. No, ever. They're, they're just playing it incredibly safe. I don't know if I'd like, uh, if I'd, well, go for the Bruiser Camp on their side of the map now. Because they could have just as well um, attacked with their Bruisers in the top lane. I think they're going to go for the Bruiser Camp in the top lane, then the Bruiser Camp in the bot lane. <sighs> and then eventually they'll run out of things to do. And, and then they'll just attack. Push, and by then, Dragon Knight will be up. <laughs> oh, wow. They're just biding their time. They're not even bothering to fight when there's no Dragon Knight at this point. Yeah, I think so. Um, but Whiskey Coco, they're definitely on the defensive. Still two levels down. And if Four Great Arno doesn't make a mistake here, this should be their game. But, I mean, they're they're letting time pass. And once level 20 is, uh, is up for uh, Whiskey Coco, they could be making a comeback. This is definitely the case, Whiskey Coco. Clearing those top lines, they're gonna definitely get top try, but they need to start being because here comes the force of four great honor. They're gonna take down keep and they may just go straight for the core here. We're seeing pretty much everyone be back for Whiskey Coca, but at this point, four great honor will likely just finish this off and back out. Oh, can they do it? There it goes. It does go down, and like we said, they just take it, they back out there, and now. Whiskey Coco have to deal with this bot lane push, and this is basically going to be a free Dragon Shrine, f uh, free Dragon Knight for for Great Honor. Assuming that uh, Whiskey Coco don't do something weird like they're currently doing, they're going to five man this bottom shrine. This is going to be interesting. That's interesting. I mean, it's it nice to do this just because it delays the Dragon Knight a little bit more, but. Also, they are two levels behind, so they need to watch out. They definitely need to use that Oracle on Shaz pretty much the entire time just to know, okay, guys, we need to step back. We need to stay out of this fight because we just want to buy time. Yeah, they need their level 20 talents, and they're waiting for that moment. I would like to point out, Talon on Ufa was seeing imposing presence. It's a good ability. Being taken now, very good against Tychus in Odin form for the Illidan. Going to slow down those attacks nicely. Good choice there by Ufa. So does that also affect um, it's, the attack afterward, or...? It's all autos. As long as Imposing Presence is up while you're being hit, uh, if you get hit by someone, all their autos are slow. Oh, the Nepsa exploding onto exploding! The shields are so much! He does get his ult interrupted, though. He's being dropped very, very low here. He's dashing out. Ufa's trying to keep him alive, but exploding is definitely going to die here. There's no way he's getting out. Revy is now caught alone. The Odin trying to take out the Chen and it will manage it. But can Anti Hero survive? He is able to jump. He gets his shield off and Whiskey's out of his Ooh. ultimate. Does get picked off, but he gets Both die in the here process. at the same time. What a double kill. And Ufer going down as well. So sort of this should be game. And killed her with it. We are blessed by the light. <laughs> and this means it's going to be a three man plus Dragon Knight push 
four for great honor and that will be an end game there's 23 seconds before sergeant hammers up and she's not going to be able to defend on her own the giant yeah. the uh, dragon knight will actually just run past all this and go straight for that core and there we go nevsay already starting on it and this will be gg unless hammer can pull off something incredible and for great honor gonna take another game Wow, I think the Dragon Knight was kind of unnecessary, but just adding insult to there injury. There is no kill quite like overkill, my friend. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and now the core, of course, just dies. They didn't even have all players oh, in wow, there, did they? Oh, wow, Sergeant missile is frozen coming out of her. Have a look. Let's zoom in on Hammer quickly. Oh, I can't, I can't. Oh, unlucky. Yeah, but I did see it. <laughs> yeah, it does look very cool. So, yep, there we go. Four Great Honor taking another game, and they're going to move on to play Wombo Combo in the next round.